Weight action, four rounds. Luis Andino against Robin David. We've seen Andino before here on Sports Channel America. He beat Pompo Velasquez. There is Robin David, 1 0 from New York City, 25 years of age. And there is Luis Andino, 3 0 with three knockouts, fighting out of Philadelphia. He is a good, hard puncher. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for our next bout of the evening. Andino at 5'5, five five, David at 5'6. The weight, Andino 141 and a half pounds, David at 136. The reach at 66 inches, Andino 72 for David. And Andino at 29 years of age, David at 25. Here is our ring announcer, Ed Darian, for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for four rounds, and it's in a lightweight division. The referee is Tony Orlando. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He tipped in at 141 and one half pounds. This young man is undefeated in three professional bouts with three straight knockouts. A native of Catania, Puerto Rico, and now residing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Boxing fans, let's welcome aboard Luis the Hawk Andino. Andino. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gray trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at an even 136 pounds. Now this young pugilist is looking for his second straight win, going into his second pro bout a native of Georgetown, Guyana, and welcome. now residing in the Big Apple of New York City, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Better Atlantic City, New Jersey, as well as Harris Marina Hotel and Casino, here is Robin David. David. Hey, gentlemen, I expect a clean professional fight. Well, my come in. All right, we go for four rounds. This will be a junior welterweight fight. Robin David at 136 pounds. He could fight it the lightweight. Luis Andino at 141 and a half pounds. And watch Andino. He likes to settle things right away. He certainly did in his last outing on the Sports Channel Tour, stopping Steve Martin in the first. It's three fights of average, two rounds. That was part of our... There goes Andino. Oh, nice play by David. Able to slip some punches and turn the tie. An important message being sent by David. If you can hold your ground while the opponent is pursuing and then land a counter shot, you'll get across the idea that He'll pay a price for trying to get in on you. Most fighters make the mistake of going straight back, and then they catch the punch with full momentum. Well, Andino is like the baseball player that every time he steps up to the plate, he's looking long ball. And it's an interesting point because they haven't even bothered yet to teach him the subtleties about setting up the right hand with his jab. He looks at it, eyeballs it, and then wings uh, a potential howitzer. Andino in the white trunks. David in the gray and red. And before too long in his career, Andino's going to have to start setting up those punches. David displays there that Andino is open for the counter shot if the jab doesn't set up the shots. Andino, 29 years of age, 3-0 with three knockouts. It sounded better than it really was. David picked most of it off. And despite his one pro fight, David showing the poise and really timing what Andino is doing. From the distance, he's able to step inside and land his punch. Oh, that right hand just a little bit short by Andino. David showing some things that Andino hasn't seen. Number one, the southpaw style. And number two, the ability to run. Andino looks frustrated. 
Well, you can run tactically, and you can run for your life. And right there, David was running for a survival. This bout is scheduled for four. Luis Sandino in the white. Robin David in the gray. These are junior welterweights. Closing seconds of round number one. Back with more from Atlantic City after this. Start round number two of the scheduled four-round junior welterweight bout. Luis Sandino in the white. Robin David in the gray. This is the classic example of a puncher going against a boxer. A boxer and a good counter puncher, which is very significant to David. He had exactly what it took to stand in there and get his counter punches off. He wasn't afraid of the big bombs that Andino was lining up. Both men are undefeated as professionals. David at 1 0, Andino at 3 0. Excellent speed by Andino if he could be a little more accurate. And David comes right back. There's a piece of tape right behind where Andino is. He might slip. Robin David of New York showing good boxing skills in a much, and I mean very much, scaled down version. Reminds you a little bit of Pernell Whitaker, the way he can slide the slip punches, and it looks like a guy is hurting him, and then he just walks out and he'll counter his score. He's a real thinking man's fighter out there, despite only having the one pro fight. Good presence of mind in there. He's one. taking what is being offered. He knows that Andino's throwing wide punches and throwing looping punches. He's not only making Andino miss, but he's making him pay, which is important. And I guess you got to tip your cap to Pernell Whitaker, who is voted the fighter of the year by the Boxing Riders Association. Lightweight his, champion. His awards just continue to pour in. He had a banner in 1989. And David in a lead situation there. And Dino walked into that. And Dino has a lot of power, but he's also a tall fighter, therefore a big target for somebody with the guile that David has. And there's the equalizer right there, the right hand by Andino. David had been doing so many things well. This will be an interesting fight to score. It is four rounds, under 30 seconds to go in round number two. And Dino, the big puncher. David, the counter puncher and the slick boxer. We now pause for a regional break. We come to the end of round number two on Sports Channel America's Pro Boxing Tour. We start round number three of this scheduled four-round bout from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Bob Papa along with Dave Von Tempo, Luis Andino in the white. Robin David, 25 years old, out of New York City in the gray and red. Andino with the reputation of the big punch. We've seen him before, 3-0 with three knockouts out of Philadelphia. But right now, Robin David is doing all the counter-punching. And it appears the more effective scoring. Dave, how do you have it through two? Both rounds for David based on his ability to counter and reduce Andino to a one-dimensional fighter. In this round, Andino is going to have to adjust and he's starting by throwing his jab out more. If David is not a stationary target, he will be difficult to be hit. Referee is Tony Orlando. Fighters in the junior welterweight division. One minute gone by in round three. David Pesky, and this is what annoys big punchers like Antino. David is not gambling and coming inside and giving it the kind of fight Andino wants. David lands his jab and he's gone. Lands a counter shot and he's gone. Andino very wide with his punches. 
And it was, of course, that kind of a wide shot that scored the knockout in his last fight. He had all the power in it. But this is a more seasoned opponent. Although the man he beat in Philadelphia was making his pro debut, and Robin David is only 1-0, David much more seasoned. David Chung, excellent skill. David bounced back there a bit. And he was hit with a shot that, had David not been in good condition, would have done a lot more damage than it did because he was caught flush on the chin. Now, how about the weight factor? And Dino nearly six pounds heavier than David. Will he be able to wear him down, or is this fight too short, being only four? Should be too short, being only four rounds. And in this case now, the uh, lower weight, and Dino is using that to his advantage to be quicker and get out of harm's way. Ordinarily, you hate to give up five pounds, as David is. We're hitting the final 10 seconds of round number three. We'll be back with the fourth and final round after this timeout. 25-year-old Robin David touches gloves with Luis Sandino as we start the fourth and final round. Many did not think that David would get out of round number one, but slick boxing skills in his second pro fight have kept the hard-punching Andino at bay. Oh, but a right hand by Andino got in. David trying to punch off the ropes. What action. And David abandoning his successful strategy, obviously feeling he needs to win the round from a scoring standpoint to take the fight. How do you feel? I think he's one point up going into the fourth round. But that also makes a draw possible. Young fighters sometimes, you have to win the round, but you can't go totally berserk. You still have to stay within the style that brought you here. And the wilder David gets, the better it is for Antino. Up until now, David has succeeded in making Andino use his own momentum against him. As Andino charges forward, he's lunging, he's in front of himself, and David lands the counterpunch. Andino at 29 years of age, he's 3-0 with three knockouts from Philadelphia. After David had picked off a couple of shots. Fourth and final round here. And David slowed a bit there because that punch was telegraphed, but it still caught him. Well, the intangible asset of speed. Should David win? That's the big factor for him. Hand speed, foot speed. Fourth and final round. Robin David in the gray, and Luis Sandino in the white. It's been a close fight. Sandino the big puncher, David the boxer and counter puncher. And after spending so much time off, what David did was what exactly what he had to. Turn back and try to land five shots. Well, this looks like it's been Andino's round, so it could be interesting scoring. Final 10 seconds of the fight. A good one between Andino and Robin David. And that is it. This four-rounder is over. Both fighters shake hands and hug in the middle of the ring. Luis Andino is 3-0 with three knockouts, heads back to his corner. Did he get his fourth career win in four tries? Crowd here at Harris enjoy the action. And there you get a look at Robin David, 25 years old out of New York City. He is 1-0 with no knockouts. And he showed a lot of skill for a fighter in only his second professional fight. And this is a good chance for both fighters to grow. David seeing a big puncher, somebody who he could use his speed against, but who he had to maintain his wits against also. One mistake 
and he probably would have been out of there, especially in the first or second round. Ferrandino, Ferrandino, we saw a style movement and a southpaw, which is something he had not been coming up against. And Dino seemed to find himself in the third and fourth rounds. Here, trapping David against the ropes and teeing off. He has some very good balance there. Punches coming from a little bit too wide. And in the future, he would want to shorten those punches up. And they're cutting the gloves off of Robin David. A very interesting fight. Tough to score. Let's find out who won. Here's our ring announcer. Here's Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges, Eugene Grant, Gene Williams, and Al DeVito, each score 38 apiece, which means this bout is a draw! Can't really argue about that. Uh, uh, Dave, how do you feel about it being a draw? It's exactly the same way that I scored it here with the first two rounds going to David and Andino trailing by a point entering the last round, got the last round, and you see the draw so often in a four-round fight because you haven't seen enough styles develop. A little bit of momentum, and that's what you get. Well, both fighters raise their arms in the center of the ring. Luis Sandino and Robert David, they fight to a draw. We now pause for a regional break. More boxing action comes your way.